All right, mateys, today is talk like a pirate today. And so we are going to be doing some pirate drawings to for talk like a pirate today. So as you can see, Miss Hoffman is a very fancy pirate with her stripes and her red. And so we are going to draw right now a pirate ship. So a big pirate ship with maybe some cannonballs and maybe a skull and crossbones up on the flag. Um, before we start, we're gonna review a few things. Um, my kids that are in first grade through fifth grade will know these words. My kindergarten friends, these will be new words for you. But we're gonna review foreground, middle ground, and background. We're gonna have some things in the foreground in our pirate ship picture, some things in the middle ground in our pirate ship picture, and some things in the background. What that means is some things will look like they're up close. Now we're gonna do a pirate ship picture, not a tree. I'm just using this as an example. This tree is in the foreground. It looks pretty big, right? This tree is a little bit farther away. I can tell it's a little farther away because this front one is overlapping it and it looks a little smaller. So that would be in the middle ground. This tree looks far, far away, like a little piece of broccoli. And I can tell it's far, far away because this one's overlapping it and it's even smaller. So we have our foreground, our middle ground, and our background. And those are important things to understand to be able to create depth in a, piece of, uh, in a picture or space, where it looks like it's going back in space. So for our pirate ships, we are going to create a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. So. What I want you to do is get out a piece of paper, white piece of paper would be good if you have one, and a pencil. And I'm gonna draw my imaginary paper right here. We're gonna pretend this is Miss Hoffman's paper. Now don't draw a big rectangle on your paper, okay? Because this is my paper. Once I get my paper, my paper might be crooked. Once I get my paper, I'm going to draw my name right here, or write my name right here, and draw a little box around it. It's always good for an artist to sign their work, okay? Get into the habit of signing your work. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the foreground. Put your hand in your face, say foreground. Foreground means up close. This, my hand looks really big in my face because it's up close, all right? So anything that's in the foreground is gonna look larger because it's closer to us. So we're gonna put a little island in the foreground. So to draw my island, I'm gonna draw just a little bit of sand right there. Okay. Now next, I might put a palm tree on my island. Since you're using a pencil, you can just erase a little section right there and do two lines up. This often's drawn sideways. If my pictures turn out crooked, guys, you'll just have to excuse me. Two lines up. Maybe put a little mound of sand at the bottom. Maybe this is a coconut tree. We'll put some coconuts at the top. Circle, circle, circle. Right there. Now to do palm fronds, we're very fancy pirates today. Palm fronds are palm leaves. And to do palm fronds, there's a couple of different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you both, you can pick. First, no matter which way you do it, this is the first step. Draw lines coming out in a radial fashion, and that's a big word that some of my bigger kids know. Radial means it goes out from the center of that object and goes out, 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 like a sunburst would. That's a radial design. So we want it to almost look like sunbeams coming out of the top of the palm tree. Right now, it looks like we blew up the palm tree with one of our cannonballs, and it's going, Psh! that's kind of what it's supposed to look like, like a big firework at first. Now. Remember, if Miss Hoffman is ever moving too fast, you can pause this video. That's the good thing about having Miss Hoffman on film. You don't have to fuss at me for going too fast. You can just hit pause, all right? Now, there's two different ways to do palm fronds. Well, that's really lots of ways, but this is two ways. One way is to make it more look like a cartoon, and then you can go back and color in these palm fronds. You do that by going zigzag line on this side zigzag line on this side, and then you have a big leaf that you can color in. 
zigzag line on this side, zigzag line on this side, and you do that all the way around. Now, if you want it to look a little bit more realistic because you're a fancy pirate, then you can take a green marker or a green crayon and do it straight with green so that you don't have to go back over and outline it and just do little lines going this way, little lines going this way, and it makes a little palm frond. Little lines going this way, little lines, whoops, going this way. Okay, and then you pick which one you like better, and then you can uh, do it all the way around. I'm gonna scoot the camera just a little closer. Miss Hoffman had it kind of scooted back so that you could see this awesome pirate map behind me, but we might wanna see the picture a little closer here when we start our pirate ship. Get the camera to be still. All right, so you decide which way you want your palm fronds to be, and you do it all the way through. I have two ways on mine, so mine looks a little silly with two different methods. But you know what? If you like the mix up the method, method you do it the way you want it to be. Whatever makes you happy. All right, so I'm just doing the line method. And then if I was doing this with pencil, I would want to go back over and outline all these lines with a green marker or color pencil or crayon later. Or you could go back over and use your watercolor sets and paint them. All right, so we now have a foreground. In our foreground, which means up close, we have our sand from our island. We have a palm tree or a coconut tree. If you wanted to, you could even do a big X with little dots, kind of like my pirate mat back here. You see X marks the spot, and you see little dots going across the map. So we would know that's where the pirates buried the treasure. Or you could draw a treasure chest. So you could pause right here and add any details on that foreground that you want. Next, we're gonna start building up our middle ground. Okay, so to do the middle ground, say don't draw through the tree, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go wavy line when we get to the tree stop. Wavy line if we come to a, le a big leaf stop. Wavy line. So, so far we've used an organic shape, okay, which is like what we always call a blobby shape. An organic shape is a shape that's not always the same like a square or a rectangle. We've used lines, we've used circles, which are geometric shapes. We've used a wavy line. So we've used lots of our elements of art so far and you haven't even added color yet. Now, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding in the pirate ship. All right, so to do the pirate ship, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a curve line coming out of this side and a curve line coming out of this side. It's gonna kinda look like a big smiley face is coming up out of the water. Like I drew a smiley face or a big cereal bowl floating around the water, okay? Notice that the tree looks a little bigger than the pirate ship. That's because the tree is in the foreground. If I put this palm tree right next to a big pirate ship, the big pirate ship's gonna be bigger but you can tell that this is farther away, floating back in the distance in the ocean because it's smaller than what's in the foreground, which is interesting. All right, next, mateys, we're going to draw the plank. So we have to say, walk the plank, and we're gonna draw the plank. So we're gonna go out like that, up just a little, and then back in, walk the plank just like that, okay? Now on this end right here, a lot of times the captain of the pirates, like Captain Hook, he'll have like a captain's uh, chambers, like a bedroom back in the back part of here. So we're gonna make it go up a little bit. Most of the time when you look at pirate ships, they're a little higher on one end because of the, uh, the rooms inside. We're gonna go over just a little bit. Now, this is not hard, but I want you to pay attention. We're gonna do a stair step down, okay? Now watch what I mean by a stair step down. We're gonna go down a little, over this way. Down a little, over this way. Kinda like a stair step down gives it just a little bit of extra detail. And then we're just gonna connect where we ended here to the plank 
with a slight curved line. And there you have the basic shape of your pirate ship. Now we have to add lots of details, but we have the plank. We have over here a little taller where the captain's quarters would be, and then stair step down. Now we can add some details. We can do little lines up right here with a thick line across to look like a railing up there at the top. Okay. We can have a wheel up here at the top if we want to. Add a circle behind that with little pegs coming out for where they hold on to the wheel to steer. Okay. We're gonna add some portholes. Portholes are little windows on a boat. And do you know what the pirates would put up in the portholes if they saw someone coming up on their ship? Anybody know? They might stick a cannon in next to those portholes. So we might have some psh, 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 cannonballs flow, flying out of there into the water. Now don't be having the cannonballs hit anybody or anything because this is not a violent picture. Maybe they're just testing their cannons. All right, but we can have the cannonballs shooting out of the windows. Now our pirate ship looks like it needs some details, doesn't it? What does a pirate ship need that it's missing? Does it need some sails? I think it does too. So we're gonna add some sails. Now, it's gonna look kinda weird at first, but it'll make sense in a minute. We'll connect it all with a mast, which is a big pole to connect the sails. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, rect a floating rectangle above the boat Another floating rectangle above that boat, or above that rectangle. And maybe a little wavy triangle way up at the top. All right, so right now we have floating rectangle, smaller floating rectangle, wavy triangle. To draw that wavy triangle, what I did, I'll draw it bigger. I did a line like this. I did wavy, wavy, wavy to a point. Wavy, wavy, wavy to a point. Makes it look like the flag is blowing in the wind, okay? Now, they're all just floating above the boat, so what we want to do is we want to connect that with a mast, which is like the big pole that connects them. So we're gonna draw a line from here to here, from here to here, and from here down to the boat. So you can tell that those sails are attached to that boat. Now, I have on stripes. We think of stripes a lot when we think of pirate ships. So I'm gonna make this sail striped. And when I'm coloring, I might make it red and black striped or white and black striped. I might color my flag red at the top. And on this one right here, I'm gonna draw a tiny little skull to show that it is a pirate ship. If you don't like that skull look, you do not have to draw that. But if you want to see how to draw an easy skull, I'm going to draw a bigger one here because it's kind of hard to tell on the little stuff. An easy way to do it is start with a rainbow arch. Okay. And then you bring it down skinnier at the bottom, skinnier at the bottom, almost like you were starting to draw a light bulb. Okay. Kind of looks like a top of a light bulb. Then you go straight line down, straight line down, connect at the bottom, do some lines up. Okay, then you can do one regular eye, maybe a big pirate patch on this one. Miss Hoffman didn't wear her pirate patch today. All right, and then if you wanted to do some crossbones, two lines this way with a circle, Kind of like you're making an X through it. Two lines this way with a circle. Two lines this way with a circle. Two lines this way with a circle. And you got your pirate crossbones that you could put up there on your flag. Now, let's check. So far we have a foreground. Foreground is up close. You could have added a, tre a treasure chest there, some gold laying out on the sand, maybe some jewels and some rubies and some emeralds. We have our palm tree. We have our water here. 
where the pirates are testing their cannons. We have our pirate ship right here. So we have our foreground and our middle ground. Okay, in our middle ground, we can add more details if we wanted. If you wanted to draw, I've taught uh, my kids, if you're a kindergarten friend, you'll learn how uh, soon, but I've taught a lot of my friends how to draw little fish, and some of my kindergarten friends that have done some of my online lessons may have learned how to draw fish in your little primary colors fish assignment, but you can draw fish in here. You might do a couple of triangles here and there, some that are farther away, a little smaller. What do you think those little triangles are? They're sharks. Maybe the maybe the pirates were shooting at the sharks because they were scared. Do you think pirates are scared of sharks? Maybe. So we have our sharks kind of in the distance. Notice these look bigger because they're closer to us. This one way back here in the distance looks small because it's farther away. And now we need our very, very background. For our background, a lot of times we add mountains into our landscapes for our backgrounds, or we will, if we're doing a, a portrait of a person, we will show what's behind them. For this background, we already have the foreground, middle ground, and if you've been to the ocean, you see the ocean for miles and miles and miles. It's all you can see. So for our background in this one, it's just gonna be the sky. So you can decide if you want the sun to be setting. If you want the sun to be setting, you might put the sun down down here like a half circle on the water. I'm just gonna have my sun up in the sky. And you might want some clouds. You can just do fluffy clouds or you can do the little cartoon clouds that look like this with the little flat bottom. Or you can do fluffy clouds like a big fluffy cotton ball all the way around. You decide which way type of clouds you want to do. And then to do little birds looking like they're flying in the distance, I can just do little M shapes flying in the distance. Little bitty. And so now I have a picture that has depth. I see a foreground, I see a middle ground, and I see a background. And when we color this, we want to make sure that we are coloring it very neatly. You might wanna go back over this and outline it all with a black marker before you start coloring neatly with a crayon or a color pencil. That way you have this nice black outline to make it look like a cartoon. So that's your choice, or you can just color it all with marker. But I hope you had fun doing this. I hope you have an excellent pirate day. And if you dressed up like a pirate, we would love to see it. Bye, guys.